Hey everybody, welcome to memoryinkers.blogspot.com. It's me, Carrie. Hi. Today we're going to do something really fun. We're going to make a paper bead. First, let me apologize for my voice. I have a cold that I caught at the Mega Meet last week, so I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's get started. You're going to need your paper trimmer and some beautiful designer paper. Okay. We are going to actually use this side of it, which normally I might tell you is a little busy, but I wanted to get all that multiple color in there. So the first thing you're going to do is just turn your paper slightly in your trimmer. So you get the point up here, and then just wherever down here, don't worry about it too much, and trim it off. Okay? Now this one could work for you. It's a really good size, but it's going to make a really fat bead. And this is a really, um, I want to be able to mail this card. So what I'm going to do is I am going to set this on here so that I get a little bit shorter of a bead, maybe about two-thirds. Okay? And that's what we're going to start with. Now, this is the width of what your bead will be, not the pointy end. Okay? So let's keep that there so you guys can take a look. You're going to start with your bone folder, too, and you want to just get a nice curl in your bone folder, like that. Then, I want you to take a liquid glue of your choice. I like to use our multi-glue. It works really well for this project. Now, don't glue up in this section, because you you'll see why, but you're not going to want anything sticky up in the front part. So start about here, and just start a bead. You don't want it to be too thick, because it will ooze, but you want to be sure that you get some on the tip, because that's going to be important. Okay, then you take a toothpick, or in this case, I have a nice skewer, and I am going to start rolling it on the skewer. Now, remember that your bottom section may not be perfectly straight, and you may need to adjust as you go. But I don't know if you can see this, but can you see that the glue is starting to sort of ooze as I roll? It's hard for me to tell what you guys can see or not. And you kind of may need to straighten it a little because you want it to be semi in the center as best as you can and you're just going to keep rolling till it's completely done. You want to make sure that end is stuck down really well. If you need to add a little glue you can. Then you're going to need something for this to dry on but look at look at all that color. Isn't that beautiful? You can have it real simple or you can get the nice red like I got. So you want, you're going to want to set it on something, you know, like a cup or something so that it can dry. But you can see that it can move on there because you did not put any glue at this big fat section. So that's how simply that can be done. And it, it looks wonderful on a card. But you can also make a bunch of these and then cover them with our wonderful crystal effects. And then they become shiny like a regular bead. And you can use them in actually jewelry. And they end up looking pretty cool. You might want to make them a little smaller, but I've seen them in all different sizes, and they look great. So that's it. That's our simple one for today. Make sure you come back next week. I'm going to be showing you some wonderful things from our new catalog, some wonderful new dies and, and framelits, and it's just awesome. I'm so excited for you all to get going on it. All right, I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful day.